first tonight, you reached out asking us to look into stolen money from electronic benefit transfer or EBT cards, the cards that food stamp or SNAP recipients use. I called the news and spoke to you guys, see if there's if anyone else was experiencing this. So here we go. We did speak with a family in crisis tonight, as well as officials about how to stay protected. But I felt devastated. You know, I, I thought about the kids because they were waiting for it. They know that, um, you know, it was coming. Robert Bennett says early Monday he watched $1,400 disappear from his account. I just felt totally destroyed. Ivy, you want ketchup? Nuggets. Money meant to go toward food for him, his wife, and their five kids at home. After he says instead of his usual grocery stores, there were stores listed in his account he'd never even heard of. I Google this place. This is in uh, Chicago. I called the police, talked to them, and, you know, they kind of brushed it off. They said, did you use it? You know, sometimes you, you could forget. And I was like, no. And then they said, well, you could either come in or we send an officer. So I just got dressed and went down and did it right away. So I don't know how they get money for food stamps versus cash, but that's a lot of money that they took from me, $1,400. So we spoke with the director of job and family services for Cuyahoga County, who says the county is seeing a slight uptick in these theft cases this month with 28 reports so far. Since June of 2023, there have been 434 cases of electronic benefits theft reported in Cuyahoga County. Those cases involved roughly $166,000 in benefits. This is a horrible thing. These are criminals preying upon the most vulnerable people in our society, people who need these benefits just to feed their families. And it turns out federal and state officials are not completely sure how thieves are even getting this information, but they are investigating. When we reached out to the USDA, it said it's working with state and federal partners and SNAP retailers to protect SNAP benefits and fight fraud, including skimming reports. Meanwhile, for Robert. I am working and I'm able to uh, produce some uh, funds to get food for the next few weeks or whatever, because if not, you know, but it's going to it's going to cause like, do I pay the cable bill, or utility bills or do I buy food now? There are some things you can do to protect yourself. Avoid simple pin combinations, change them often. Keep that pin and your card number secret. Beware of phishing. State agencies and EBT processors will never call, never text, asking you for your pin. If you're a victim of electronic benefits theft, you need to file a form with the County Department of Job and Family Services where you live. News 5 is committed to reporting on stories like these that matter to you. If there's something you'd like to see us follow through on, you can email us at tips at wews.com.